friends today what we're going to do is we are going to learn about shapes okay so and then we are going to create a bird maybe a hen or a bird okay using the shapes that we learned so let's see the supplies that we need we need crayons we need markers we need a paper so this is half a paper and I have my whiteboard. If you don't have a whiteboard, you can use a scrap paper to practice draw along with me. Okay. So before we get into the lesson, let's talk about shapes. What are we learning today? It's shapes. So shapes. Um, we learned about lines last time, right? right? Like a month back or two months back lines are dots going on a walk right so if a line goes on a walk and then decide to come back where it started what do we have we get a shape so if the line decides to walk like this and then like this and then come back we have another shape if the line decides if the dot decides to go for a walk like that like that like that and then come back we have a shape so what a shape is a shape is not an open line so if do we get a shape if i draw this this way if the line decides to go for a walk and stop uh, and not go back to where it started do we get a shape no because this is a open line so we get a shape only when the line is closed okay so there are two different kinds of shape uh, that we use so one shape it's uh, the regular shapes that everyone can identify so what shape uh, i and you call this shape by one name we all call this and any other person if you ask them would call this by the same name we, everyone call this a circle right what name does everyone call this shape this shape everyone call this a triangle what about mm, this shape i call this a rectangle and you also would be calling this a rectangle and every other person in the world would be calling this a rectangle what shape do what is this shape this is a diamond shape you and i call it the uh, diamond and everyone calls it the diamond so these shapes that are regular and um has a name these are called the geometric shape okay so now there are another kind of shape um like the shape what is this you will call that a cloud but do we have um so do we have a name for that shape um no so but we can call it a cloud shape but there's no name because clouds today you can see a cloud this way maybe another cloud this way so clouds shapes are not regular and so there is no particular name for that what about this is a flower but are all the flowers the same shape or so these are also an irregular shape so that is another thing what else hmm. what else can i so then So this is also something that you see in um, these shapes that you see, all the shapes that you see in the sh uh, nature, we call them the organic shape. So you got the trick, right? So um, these are irregular and they are organic shapes. So there are organic sh uh, shapes and geometric, geometric shapes like triangle a uh, star rectangle um diamond all those things are geometric shapes and there is organic shape 
okay so today what we are going to do is we are going to use a mix of geometric shape and organic shape to make what we are making okay so if you look out a look at anything that you need to draw those everything is has a shape right so drawing something if you know what shape uh, if you so suppose i was just drawing this flower what shape is there inside a, a circle so we start with a circle and then we have this uh, organic shape that goes like that and then so if you can identify each shape that you see in whatever you're looking you'll be able to draw that okay so let's draw a basic bird so today i'm going to show you guys to make a basic bird so i'm going to take this one so on one side of your paper we are going like on the middle maybe okay um i'm going to um middle side of the paper i'm going to put uh, maybe leave like three finger space on one side i'm going to put a dot so this dot is uh going to be the eye so if i put it too close there won't be any space for the head and um the beak okay so that's why we left this this much space i'm going to make a circle around this so you guys also can make a circle around this now i'm going to make a triangle okay um you can add a smile inside the triangle this is the bird's beak now right now behind the head what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw a straight line okay but this line is not going to go like that when you reach uh near towards the this side of the paper you're going to curl the line upwards hmm? to the corner so like that got like that now what we are going to do is we are going to draw a long swooping line from here okay to the here so this is going to be the belly of the bird so um, what do you think the, did the bird have something to eat this morning is he full or is he empty so based on that so i'm going to make a nice swoopy line so it's like a big u or a smile okay now what we are going to do is we are going to um think of a nice shape for his feathers okay so do you want to make pointy shapes or round shapes think of what shape you are going to put and um maybe we'll put the um uh, so we, we will do the feather at the end first let's draw the legs okay so go to the bottom of the belly and draw a curved line for one side of the leg draw another line beside it do you want to add some claws you can just make one leg and draw the another leg just like this okay so and we can also decide whether we want to add a tail for your bird whether you want to add a long tail or do you want a short tail so let's uh, i'm i'm going to make this uh, legs simple like that you can either make it like this or let me show you another way you can draw the legs so One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> okay, and um, if you want to add a tail, this is triangles here. That will work. Or maybe I'll draw a line, and then maybe I'll draw a shape here. Maybe one more line and a shape. Okay, if you want to add a. Uh, 
the crown for your bird to make it like a chicken. So you can do like that. Or do you want to make it look like do two lines and then make zigzag lines. Okay. And then for the feathers, you're going to make whatever shape you want. If you want to add triangles, go ahead and make triangles inside. If you want to make a square, go ahead and make square. If you want to add flowers, go ahead and make flowers. If you want circles, let your bird have circle feathers. Okay. So if you want your bird to have a different kind of beak, open beak then you can have like that if you want to add make more than one bird that is also fine okay so let's uh, after uh, do you think you are ready to start drawing the bird if so i'm going to take if you want to practice one more time this is a pretty easy bird right we are just making a bird with just a simple shape so i'm going to take the paper we are putting it's sideways, okay? And then what are we going to do? We are going to start with the eye. So if you want, you can start with a pencil, okay? I'm using this so you guys can see better. Uh, I'm going to maybe leave three finger space. I need, I'm going to put a big, maybe four finger space, maybe. Okay, four finger space for the eye. I'm going to put a dot here. I'm going to make the dot a little bit more bigger. Okay. I'm going to make a circle around the eyes. Now, what was the next step? We need to make the beak. So uh, you can make a triangle. Or if you want to make like the beak is like open beak, mouth, you can make another triangle, right? I'm going to make a line to make it look like a smile line, the beak, okay? Now, remember the line, it's not just straight, but it's like going upwards a little bit, okay? So if you want, you can practice with your finger going upwards, it's like a smile line. But here, it starts here and then go up. Okay. Now, I'm going to make the, uh, the belly of the bird. So, I'm going to start from here, the head, and then go like that. So, I practice with my finger one or two times. And I'm going to take my... So he had a big breakfast, I guess. Okay. So, I have that. Now, I'm going to make the legs so two curvy lines and i make his toes or claws you want to make the tail like a, a triangles like a triangle a triangle triangle or you can just make the lines and circles or whatever shape you want i'm going to make triangles like that okay now i'm going to make the the bird's crown make this is a chicken that we are making right so i'm going to make okay <laughs> i'm just sad at that so whatever shape you want to put inside the bird you are going to put that you're just choosing one shape Okay, so I'm going to make this. Maybe I'll add some lines in here also. I'm going to make this bird a polka dot bird. You can't see the whole circle. So I'm just making half circles here on the edges and some big polka dots. If you have space, if you want to make a smaller bird, you can make here. Maybe I'm going to make a smaller one. Um, this time I'm going to make it uh, like super fast, okay? If you want, you can. I will all start with the circle. Maybe this is a baby bird. Or 
Oh, should I make the You don't have to use the same shape for the baby bird. If you want, you can use a different shape. Maybe I'll put one more here in the front. Okay, so if you want, you can add two birds, right? Or three birds, or if you don't have space, just one bird. I'm going to draw a line behind the birds, like that. I'm not drawing on top of the bird, but behind. So we have the bird ready. Now let's take markers or crayons oh, before you do this um, you take out the marker uh, mark oh yeah you take the marker and you're taking the black marker and you're going to go over all the lines that you made with the pencil go over all the lines to make it look nice and shiny okay I'm going to use this marker you guys go ahead go over all the lines I'm just going over the part where the marker was super light. So what I'm going to, uh, after this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start coloring my bird. Okay. So if you're not done outlining, if I'm going too fast, you can just um, pause the video and then come back. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to choose whatever color I want for the the shapes okay so maybe the mama birds polka dots are going to be purple i'm going to the dots the circles i'm going to color the dots first so i'm making the shape first and then coloring inside so whatever shape that you made if it is a circle outline the shape and then color inside now i'm going to use another color for the baby birds i'm going to use some dark colors so purple red um blue all these would be nice dark colors that can be good for the polka dots Red. The crown of the bird also I'm going to put red. Now I'm going to take yellow and color the beak. made one of the birdie birds be open right maybe okay so now what we're going to do is um these are the bigger areas bigger areas it is good to color with a crayon so i'm putting away my markers back in the container marker box I'm going to take my crayons. So how we are going to color is if you use purple, you can either use the same purple color to color the body. 
if you use blue, you can use blue itself. Okay, so there are two ways you can color. So maybe one, I'm going to show you how to use the same color and color with the crayon. I'm going to color with the same color. So when you use the same color, it will blend in nicely. That is the reason I'm using the same color. And still you can see the polka dots, right? It looks nice. Even though I use the same color. So color in nicely as best as you can. Now I'm going to use purple. Uh, so you can either use purple or what you can do is you can use the color opposite to purple in the color wheel. The color opposite to purple in the color wheel is yellow. Color opposite to blue in the color wheel is orange. So if you don't want to use blue on top of blue, you can either use orange or blue. Okay, I'm going to use yellow here let's see what happens see uh, when you use the opposite colors it stands out more because the colors opposite to each other in the color wheel there is a name for it they are called the complementary colors complementary colors complement each other they're like um support each other so well they're like oh you should be the one that is the bright one but then the other color will say, no, you take this uh, thing, you take the center stage, you should be the bright one here. So both these colors would support each other and they will look so bright and nice. So. So the beak, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of orange to the mama bird's beak because otherwise the beak and the, uh, the head is going to be one color. Now for red, as I said, you can either use a red crayon to color this to, for it to blend in or you can use the opposite color of red in the color wheel so the opposite color of red in the color wheel is green if you use that this will stand out but i'm going to use the same color i just want i'm just making the mama bird stand out Okay, so then I'm, we are now going to color the, the ground. Maybe I'm just adding some texture. This happened with this lens. It's accidental, but it's okay. So I'm just going to color. See that you're not coloring on the... Uh, the cheeks and the hand but below that I'm holding my crayon this way and then coloring okay I'm going to turn this around and color from the bottom upside down I'm using blue to color the sky I didn't add anything else to the background because I just want my mama, mama hen and the chicks to show, stand out. okay we are done so what i want you guys to do is i want you guys to take a picture of this and email me in the email id i'm putting at the end of the video i would like to see how your mama bird and the baby birds turned out okay so before we go 
let's quickly go over the shapes and how they are divided the shapes are any close a closed line is called a shape right and shapes can be either organic shapes or geometric shapes organic shapes are things that you shapes that you see in the nature like clouds leaves flowers mm, birds all that are organic shapes but uh, geometric shapes are shapes that you will be able to identify like everyone will be able to name the shape so those shapes that we use in math and all those things they are the man-made things you have um, geometric shapes like triangle circle rectangle and so on okay so i hope you guys had fun making this uh, bird um, painting or drawing and uh, not painting we didn't paint so <laughs> till we meet next time Bye-bye.